Hey guys, so today I'm going to do the 11 most reachful products. I think that's what it's called. It's like the 11 products that you go for the most. Um, Miss Universal Beauty, I think that's her name, um, she did this video and said anyone else who hasn't done it yet to do it. So I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it because I thought it would be nice for you guys to know like what kind of products I use. So yeah, okay. So my first thing that I use every single day of my life is my concealer. Oh, okay, I dropped it. My concealer. It's MAC Studio Finish Concealer. It's in like the little pot thingy. And it's so good because it's like, it's like hard. So it doesn't like run or anything. It's, I'm NC42. Well, I'm not actually NC42. But this was my summer color. But it's going into winter now. So whatever. Anyways, second thing I use every single day of my life is my gel eyeliner okay so i'm an idiot and i've left this thing open overnight for like three nights now so it's really hard and i'm gonna have to get a new one but it's okay because nearly finished anyway but even when i'm not using it as eyeliner like if i'm going out clubbing or something i just like put it all over my eyelid then put black like eyeshadow all over it and then i'm like ready to go and it's like such an easy smoky eye and it actually looks good anyways third thing I use this under everything. Even if I'm just going to go put black eyeliner all over my eyelids to make a smoky eye, I will put my paint pot underneath. Because it just, I don't know, in my head it makes it stop crease and makes the color brighter, but I don't know if it, it actually does. But that's what I tell myself in my head. So I use this every day. It lasts incredibly long. I've had it for about two months now and it's still like really longer than two months I would say. Actually, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Next is my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. Oh my gosh. Okay. So every time I put my concealer on in the morning, which goes like under my eyes, mm, I put this on underneath and my concealer actually stays there all day. Like it doesn't smudge, it doesn't move. And the thing I love about this is that when you put it on, it like, it just makes it feel like you're not wearing any makeup again. Because you know how like when you put on liquid foundation and stuff, it kind of like feels rubbery kind of well this like totally gets rid of that which just makes you think that's gonna stay there all day and then mm, dropped it again and what do you know it does okay another thing that I constantly go for because it's like good for setting your eyeliner and stuff and doing a smoky eye is um black like powder shadow because this isn't actually eyeshadow it's a cake eyeliner but I use it as an eyeliner like on the bottom I use it as a powder to set my eyeliner on the top and bottom. I use it as a black eyeshadow like in the corners when I'm doing a smoky eye and stuff. Probably the only thing I don't use it as is as a cake eyeliner, but whatever. It's color essence, but I don't... I googled it and they have like this really fancy website, but I actually don't think I've ever seen them in New Zealand except for when they came with like this Indian fair thing. Anyways, my gel liner, my blue one from MAC and... okay. Siahi. Came out with a Mickey Contractor range. And look how pretty it is. It's like, okay, I would describe the color as the night sky with a full moon. Like, you know the color of the blue right next to the moon, how it's all like magical? Oh my god, I love it. Um, I hardly ever use it as eyeliner. I do sometimes if that's like the look I'm going for, but I mostly just use it as a base for a smoky eye. Like, again, if I'm going out at night and don't know what eye makeup to do, this all over my lid, black over it, and it makes it, like, really blue and smoky. Very delicious. Okay. Um, <laughs> the next one is my Beauty Powder by MAC and Briar Rose. It's from the Venomous Villains collection. It's got Maleficent on it. It's, um, it's, like, not, it's really bright, but it doesn't come out this bright on your skin. It comes out, like, more like a highlight so I kind of use it in this sort of area because it gives it like a nice pinky highlight it's really nice I also use this like on nights out just because it's easy just and then you're highlighted and blushed for the night okay the next thing is this Napoleon palette it's called palette patrol it's got like kind of like an army print sort of thing going on on the back I don't know but anyways it comes with three lip colors and three eyeshadow colors I don't use these because these have like a shimmer in them and I hate shimmery eyeshadow I like matte. Um, but anyways, that's not why I like this palette. I like this palette for the blush and the bronzer. I use the bronzer pretty much every day because I'm really like pale for like an Indian. 
so I just use it like, you know, the way you use bronzer. I'm wearing it today, you probably can't tell because I like don't like to overdo it with the bronzer. I hardly use the blush, actually I use, I use the blush as an eyeshadow if I'm going for a pink look because it's really pink and really pigmented. But yeah. It's a cute little palette. It was only something crazy like $15, which Napoleon is cheap in New Zealand. Okay. Okay. So my next one is like a duo kind of thing because Liz did it in her video, so it's okay for me to do it in mine. So first I use Pink Nouveau by MAC. It's like the brightest pink lipstick of your life. Anyways, um, it's really similar to like something Nicki Minaj would wear. I, I, I read somewhere once. That this was Nikki's favorite lipstick before she came out with her Pink Friday lipstick. But yeah. Anyways, because it's so freaking bright and no one is going to wear this outside in real life. I always put this color over it. It's like just a really nudie sort of a, like a brown color. It's, an, it's a NYX color and it's called Rhea. My mom and I bought it online like years ago. So I don't know like if you still get it considering we don't even get a full NYX range in New Zealand. Anyways. So, if I've like done my makeup and I'm wearing an outfit and I don't know what color lip to wear, that, because if it's not, I wear this pretty much every day. But, yeah, if it's like an outfit or makeup that wouldn't really go with the pink lip, I use this thing. It's a L'Oreal 6 Hour Glam Shine Gloss, and its color is Timeless Ruby, which is 502. And seriously, you look at this and think it's a lip gloss and it's not gonna go on like you know, all pigmented and stuff, but seriously, look at it. Okay, can you see it? Look at it! And it's so shiny and pigmented and beautiful, and it's so much better than wearing an actual lipstick, because it doesn't, like, feel heavy on your lips or anything. But except I do kind of get it on my teeth, because of these two teeth. Oh my god. I have lipstick on my teeth now. Because of these two teeth that stick out. I'm constantly getting lipstick on my teeth. So forgive me. Okay, the last, I think that was what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, this is the last thing. It's this Maybelline, I was gonna call it a quad, but it's obviously not a quad because there's only three things in it. Um, it was a limited edition one, and it's called Desert Gold. Okay, the reason I love this is because these colors are, like, not in any way glittery, except for the bottom one, but I don't use the bottom one, so it doesn't matter. Okay, well, they're a little bit shimmery, but for the most part, they're matte. And so this color... I started using it every day instead of my um, Sweet Joy by MAC. They're pretty much similar colors, but I don't want my Sweet Joy to like run out. Actually, I'll show them to you together. They're actually really similar, but I don't want my Sweet Joy to run out because I like absolutely love it. Oh yeah. And then so I use that. I'm wearing it today. I use that all over there, and then instead of using my Foley, because I also don't want to run out of that because MAC is really expensive. Well, in New Zealand it is. I assume it is everywhere else as well. Um, I use this, like, it's almost like a taupey sort of a color, you could call it. Well, I use that in the crease, and then just blend it out. It's really nice. It just gives, like, a really nice, like, it gives good depth, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, so yeah. Those are all 11 items. I hope you guys, like, learned something, or saw something that you're gonna go out and buy now, because it's just amazing. Anyways. Is that all I have to say? I think it is. So, thanks for watching and stop. Oh yeah, I'm sorry if I talk really fast because it is actually like a known fact that in real life I talk way too fast. But anyways. Mm, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, so my dancing video videos that are like at the beginning of my channel, like my first videos, those are just, that's me and my friend that we used to dance, we don't dance anymore. Well, I would love to still dance, but I don't get an opportunity to dance, but whatever. It was just us, like, choreographing our own stuff and stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys another time.